Mathematics is, is like a secret garden. There's this amazing group of things that are flourishing. Someone has to give you the key. And you get in and you, and you say, wow. David Mumford has sown many seeds in that mathematical garden. Mathematicians feel they're discovering the basic patterns, some of which are tremendously subtle, which govern things like numbers and shapes uh, and processes. So here's the overall shape is a triangle. And within it, each of these is a triangle. He has fundamentally advanced algebraic geometry, aiding the string theorists. The analogy that I've found most successful for explaining what it's all about is that of drawing maps. What is an atlas or a map? It's, it's a piece of paper on the one hand, but the points on that piece of paper stand for actual places in the world. Well, mathematicians can make maps too. Mumford constructed a bridge between computer vision and the mathematical fields of variational calculus and stochastic analysis. My research in, in computer vision led me into some problems that are really more pure mathematics because one of the hard parts in vision is to know what it means to say two shapes are similar. Expanding from computer vision to how the brain envisions was a natural progression for David Mumford. There's really one computational problem, taking an image of the world and identifying what's going on in the scene you're looking at. It's, a, it's the same computational problem, whether the computer or the robot is trying to do it, or, or whether it's an animal or a human. Mathematicians believe in this kind of platonic universe, and in the, in the, there's a pre-existing bunch of facts which are true, and you never invent anything. You're discovering 